Next case. Do you know this band? Oh, it's a super cool band, man. They uh, organized something called the Sleepify Tour. No? Do you want to hear a song? Yeah? All right. This was uh, one of the ten songs of their first album. This band wanted to go on tour and they had to gain 20,000 euro to go in their van around the US. And what they did um, is literally earning money while they were sleeping. They asked all their fans to put, in, put on their new album, which consists of songs like Zzz and Zzz <laughs> at night while they were sleeping. And if you know the business model of Spotify, every time somebody clicks, they get a little bit of money. So <laughs> after two weeks, and this is really lousy for Spotify, <laughs> the silent album, which could be played at night while you were sleeping, so it's not bothering you as well, um, gave them 20,000 euros, enough to go around. And I really like this creativity of use of the, of the medium and the business model of Spotify. And actually, they loved it that Spotify removed it, because this was the biggest PR stunt they could ever get. Um, so with a bit of creativity and 10 silence tracks, well, you could get, you get, get $20,000. Um, I think it's smart, at least for a band that nobody knows. And now at least, uh, well, 50 people, if you remember, still tomorrow. The bait, a silent album. You know, if you would see the tweet, an, an, an album with songs that you cannot hear, it's bullshit, so it's interesting. Interaction, play while sleep. Push the play button, get asleep, and help your uh, band go on tour. Um, and it's smart, because they know the business model of Spotify, and they abuse it for their own good. I really love this uh, little thing from a very simple band. And it's, this shows that with creativity, without any budget, you can still do nice stuff. More? Nice. All right. Um, this is another brand we work for. And um, um, I think we are the only country where DDB does not do the work for Volkswagen. Um, I think they're still angry when I say this. but um, And the reason why is that for already 10 years, we do a lot of work for them. We started with digital, and then we did some other stuff. And this is one of my favorites, actually. Um, with a very nice car, the Golf GTI, um, it is the hot hatch. Actually, the Golf of Volkswagen introduced the label GTI. It was their sort of brand, and it's very special. So for them, it's very important to keep that, um, yeah, th to keep to keep it the GTI instead of all the other GTIs that are out there now. So. We thought of a very simple idea. Males, especially the guys that like to drive GTR, GTI, I like to be the first one that go off at the stop stoplight. So they are a bit competitive, they are a bit like blah, blah. So we asked them a simple question. Are you faster than a Golf GTI? Then you can keep it. That's a project called GTI Benaban. We thought like we have a very fast car what medium should we use that is completely contrasting the car itself? And we came up with the medium banner, which is probably the most boring medium ever. But we used it in a different way than uh, normally. And the uh, case movie might tell you why. Have a look. With the first Golf GTI, Volkswagen introduced the original hot hatch, setting the standard for years to come. Seven generations later, Volkswagen wanted to let the world know the Golf GTI is still unbeatable. Instead of just talking horsepower, we gave everyone the chance to experience its speed using the poorest performing advertising medium ever. ever, ever. Introducing GTI Bannerbahn, a live race across the four most visited websites in the Netherlands. We broadcasted the race from the real racetrack, 
straight to the banners, where the fastest player could win the golf with one single click. Before race day, people could practice against the older GTI models anywhere, anytime. And seeing as the final race was against a real car, we scaled up the banners a bit, using 900 litres of paint. We're going to have four websites on the ground. Naschilderen en uh, bij elkaar is, is het iets van 2000 vierkante meter. On Friday the 13th, at exactly 12 o'clock, the GTI took off, skidding from website to website. Chased by a massive amount of eager curses, we gained a banner click rate of 22.5%. One player turned his click into a car within a millisecond. More important, all the people that didn't win the GTI proved it is still a car quite hard to beat. get the point. Um, there's one nice little detail which we didn't think of when we thought of this project. We had this idea of this, this golf slipping and sliding, but the golf is a front wheel drive car. And if anybody of you know what you need to spin a car around is a back wheel, rear wheel car. So the stunt driver has to do every trick running in reverse. So everything you see here is made in reverse, otherwise he could not spin around like you see here. He was quite mad at us when we uh, asked him to do that. Um, there's something important with a campaign like this, because the actual race lasted two times two minutes. And if there's something not interactive or not online that is asking people to come to a certain place for two minutes at a certain period of time. So actually, the whole race itself was an important part, but not the most important part. The whole idea was to have a mega big racetrack consisting of those websites and um, ask the people of those websites to make use of it in the way they like it best. So we had a warm-up phase in this campaign where we asked all the car blocks, the lifestyle blocks, which you don't know over here, but which are big in Holland, to do whatever they would like with a GTI on their own website. And therefore, we got a lot of content before the actual race to warm up. So we had this sort of lifestyle block on the left, which consists of a crazy, crazy dude to do all kinds of crazy stuff. And we had a very serious car block, so we could steer by using the media which people we could reach with this campaign. So this, this serious car block, for example, this guy is an ex Formula One driver. Zoals was hier in de problemen en dan kom je niet goed uit. He used our track to do racing, go, <coughs> racing courses. Every week a different bent. racing course. These guys. They found a different way of uh, catching a GTI with a mouse. In this case, with real mouses. Well, <coughs> of course, this is not about CTR. This is bullshit. It's just about the attention you can generate with a project like this. Um, what is interesting, though, is that the campaign was viewed in Holland on 6 million unique devices. We have 16 million people in Holland. And with the unique devices, it's laptop, tablets, etc. We saw that people who watch the campaign watch it on four to five different devices within one family, which is quite extreme. So better be sure that it fucking works on everything. Um, well, two learnings, at least, at least we learned from that. If you have an event-driven campaign like this, don't trust on those two minutes of fame you rather stretch your campaign and give it a good build-up. And it's so interesting to cooperate with all these websites because these are creative people themselves. They know very well how to reach their 
um, their target groups, their, their readers, and they do it much better than we could ever think of. So we give them the playground, they came, they came up with nice ideas, and um, yeah, we got better results in the end. Up for more? The last one was a bit louder. <laughs>